Hello guys and welcome, it's your boy Clover. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the functioning and the design breakdown of handheld mosquito zappers. Let's go break it down. Handheld mosquito zappers, also known as electric mosquito swatters or bug zappers, are portable devices designed to kill flying insects such as mosquitoes, flies and gnats through an electric shock. They are shaped like a small tennis or badminton racket and consist of a grid of wires that generate high voltage when powered. The zapper works by using a battery powered circuit to step up the voltage to a level high enough to kill small insects on contact. When a mosquito or bug touches the electrically charged grid, it completes the circuit, delivering a shock that instantly kills it. Let's further break down every component to better understand their design, their function, and how they all come together to produce this satisfying zapping action. Kicking off from the exterior, we start with the handle, which is contoured to fit naturally in the user's hand, ensuring a comfortable and secure grip during use. Anti-slip texture, such as rubberized or grooved patterns, are added to prevent slipping, especially when hands are sweaty. The handle is designed to house the heavier components like the battery, circuitry, and pivoting charging head near the base. This keeps the device well balanced, reducing wrist strain during extended use. It is made from high quality ABS or polycarbonate plastics, making it lightweight yet durable enough to withstand accidental drops or prolonged use. Moving inside the handle, we see that it conceals a rechargeable battery within a compact housing, protecting it from dust and moisture. The base of the handle integrates a foldable charging head just below the battery compartment. When not in use, the head folds seamlessly into the handle to maintain a slick profile. The pivot mechanism is designed to be robust with smooth rotation and a secure locking position to prevent accidental breakage. The system is powered by a rechargeable lithium-ion battery housed in the handle. A boost converter circuit boosts the low voltage from the battery, usually 3.7 volts, to a high voltage output, usually between 500 and 2000 volts needed for zapping. A capacitor circuit stores high voltage energy and discharges it instantaneously when a mosquito bridges the inner and outer grids, delivering a lethal zap. The power button activates the capacitor circuit, ensuring it is only active during use. It is strategically placed near the thumb or index finger for easy activation while holding the device. A small LED or two near the top or side of the handle indicates power status, either active or inactive, and also charging progress. Some handles also feature a lock switch to prevent children from accidentally activating the zapper. From an aesthetics point of view, the handle features clean lines and polished or matte finish giving the zapper a premium modern look, available in a variety of colors to appeal to different user preferences. Next, we move to the zapping grid. It usually features a three-layer construction for optimal functionality and user safety. The outer protective grids are made up of non-conductive or lightly conductive material. The outer layers act as a shield to prevent accidental contact with the high-voltage active grid inside. The gaps in the mesh are wide enough to allow mosquitoes to pass through, but too small for fingers or larger objects. The inner active grid is made from highly conductive metal wires, such as stainless steel or aluminum. These layers deliver an electric charge that zaps mosquitoes. The spacing is optimized to ensure that when a mosquito enters, it completes the circuit between the active and the protective grids, receiving a lethal shock. Surrounding the grid layers is a plastic frame that provides structural support. This plastic shell keeps the grid and ensures the zapper is lightweight, durable, and safe to handle. The grid is often designed in a honeycomb or square mesh pattern to maximize the effective surface area for zapping while maintaining structural integrity. These patterns ensure uniform distribution of the electrical charge across the grid. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button. Let's go carry on. As far as electrical design goes, the inner grid delivers a high voltage shock but at a very low current, ensuring it is lethal to small insects while safe for humans. The zapping grid is powered by a capacitor that stores and releases energy in short bursts when a mosquito completes the circuit. Also, the grid is designed to zap only when triggered by a mosquito, conserving power and minimizing energy wastage. The outer grids are also carefully spaced and insulated to prevent accidental contact with the active inner grid. And when the zapper is powered off, any residual charge in the grid is safely discharged, eliminating the risk of accidental shocks during handling or cleaning.
Concerning the aesthetics of the zapping grid, it is integrated into the frame in a way that maintains the device's sleek appearance while ensuring structural durability. Despite its multiple layers, the grid is designed to be lightweight, ensuring ease of use and portability. So here is all you have to know about the design and functioning of handheld mosquito zappers. From their brilliant design to the intricate process that powers them, these compact tools are a fine example of how we can draw design inspirations from everyday things to solve everyday problems. The handheld zapper is a reliable, eco-friendly and satisfying solution. That's all we had time for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and you're leaving it with a better understanding of how handheld mosquito zappers actually work and why they are designed the way they are. If you're interested in the functioning and the design breakdown of air humidifiers, check out the video on the screen right now. Bye-bye.